What is going on guys? I uh, got something a little different today. Uh, this is a 2020 Kia Stinger, my buddy Mike's car. Uh, he just got this thing and he can't help himself but mod it. Uh, today we're doing a k and cold air intake. There it is. So um, I'm going to pull that apart see how much horsepower they claim to make. But I think he's mostly doing it because he wants uh, a little bit more intake sound. But hopefully he doesn't void his warranty too much because this thing is brand spanking new cool car he's already modded a little bit got rid of those Kia badges I think those are like the Korean stinger badges but sharp looking car so here is the K&M part number we're putting on this 2020 stinger today uh, here's the table of parts not a whole lot but you can always uh, count on K&M for a decent fitting kit and uh, you know typically you don't get engine lights as long as everything else is working properly on your car and I'm sure Mike doesn't want an engine light on his 2020 stinger so let's take a look. Well, there it is. This 3.3 liter twin turbo V6. I think it makes 365 horsepower, something like that, crank horsepower. Uh, they run uh, mid 13s in a quarter mile, which Mike tells me. But this thing is a lead sled. Uh, they weigh around 4,000 pounds with a driver or so, 30, 37 something plus driver, upwards of 4,000 pounds. So. Uh, yeah, 37, 3,800 pound car, so heavy, but uh, I guess the twin turbo V6 can make up for it. All right, let's see what this thing sounds like before the cold air intake. super quiet and you can barely hear the, any kind of intake or turbo noise so I see why Mike wanted this Canon intake setup. Along with all your cool uh, intake noises uh, you're going to get with a kit like this they claim 9.09 uh, .09 horsepower so 327 stock to the wheels 336 after the intake and 8.3 foot pounds of torque so that's about right if you give in uh, 15 to 18 percent driveline loss from what they claim. Alright, so uh, pretty simple so far and obviously being so new everything just comes apart so nice I think this is like the newest car I've ever worked on uh, usually by the time I get a new car uh, it's at least at the first oil change interval and this thing has like a thousand clicks on it so uh, so everything's apart those braces came out um, uh, both air boxes there's just three bolts uh, and then uh, all it is is just hose, clamp, hose clamps and uh, some spring clamps there's a hose that comes off this uh, blow off valve a recirculating valve, whatever they call it on these. Uh, part of that hose sounds like it's going to be reused according to the instructions. So we'll make sure we keep that. He's going to keep all the stock stuff anyway. And I think Canon recommends that you keep the stock intake just in case. Um, just wanted to show you these turbos. Look how cute those are. Mike tells me it's not the size of the turbo that matters though. It's the amount of power it makes, but I think I think he's surprised how small his little turbos are too, but look at those cute little turbos. So next step, uh, you start putting um, your filter adapters on. So it's just two screws, it goes in, um, it's indexed this way and the filter goes on here. It doesn't really say in the instructions which hardware to use, but it's the Allen head screws uh, or, or bolts with a lock washer and a regular lock washer. And then we're also going to put a little bit of blue Loctite on it just for good measure so nothing rattles loose on them. There you go, just like that. And you repeat it for the other side. All right, uh, next up, all you got to do is put your um, weather seal on the top trim. It keeps saying driver side, passenger side, but I don't. You know, it doesn't really matter. Everything's the same, so um, we're just kind of rolling with it right now. But I think there's supposed to be a serial number on one of these, but we can't find it. So we're just kind of putting it together, and then as we put it in the car, we'll figure out which side is which. 
So we got the weather stripping on. Uh, definitely the hardest part so far. Um, we weren't sure by the pictures. It's kind of hard to tell with the black and white pictures, but the weather stripping starts at the mounting hole, the 90, all the way down, all the way around basically to that um, mounting bracket. Again, it said some trimming requ required, but this didn't need any trimming. Uh, the corners are the hardest part, so you just kind of got to take your time and just work your way and get it all the way on. Uh, the open corners, the, the 90, uh, the closed 90 bend corner is actually easier than the open corners. Uh, but you just take your time, get it on. Um, Mike's still fighting with his, but it's basically how she's supposed to look. So the filter goes on now. Uh, this is the bottom of the box here. So, you know, if you want to get professional, make sure you index your can in to the bottom of the box so it looks nice and profesh and then uh, the clamp is just a 8 mil or 5 16 uh, gear clamp and then you just tight snug that up onto the filter adapter so there they are uh, basically all ready to go in uh, that's passenger side that's driver's side uh, they got the hole that connects to the stock um, air ducting I guess you would call it Pretty nice looking setup. So uh, next up, we got to mount these in. It comes with provided hardware, which is your uh, two last hex bolts that are left in the kit. So when you're putting your um, filters in, uh, there's the stock ducting that kind of slides in. Make sure you get that on there very good. It's kind of like a rubber grommet. Get that on there good. And then it has the one mounting hole. Uh, it's kind of weirded out by that at first, why it only had one mounting hole, but it actually seems um, to be fairly secure once you get it fully on that ductwork. So make sure you get it on there and then get that bolted up. So both sides are mounted up. Uh, we got the 10 mil mounting screws in all in place. This thing is already looking pretty cool. This is way nicer looking. You know, put performance aside. Uh, this is way nicer looking intake than the stock, the stock in, uh, air boxes. So the 10 horsepower is just a bonus or a 9 or whatever it is. All right, so we're uh, pretty much done. Um, everything's hooked up, all the clamps are tight. Uh, make sure you get your hoses. Uh, a little tip for you, there's this vacuum line um, coming from the intake or PCV line, whatever this is. Um, there's two fittings in the box. Make sure you put the right one in. I actually first put the wrong one in, not seeing that there was another one, thinking, wow, like, Canon screwed up, this is a loose fit. It's actually, there's another fitting that's bigger. This is like a 3 8 barb, this is like a bigger, like, 10 mil barb or something like that so uh, make sure you do that um, Canon tells you to swap the blow blow off valve uh, hoses side to side so put the driver's one on the passenger side uh, I found that they actually fit better the way they were so use the driver's side on the driver's side and the passenger side on the passenger side um, we just end up trimming a little bit off each hose so with a little trim they actually fit really well as you can see uh, and they when we try to swap them side by side we just really couldn't get a good fitment so we decided to do it like that um but like i said we had to trim it if you do kind of mess up which side is which uh when you're taking it apart the yellow marking on the hose is the passenger side and the white marking on the hose is the driver's side all right there we go uh braces are in you will notice if you put one of these intake in uh, intake kits in the braces do hit the filter housings just a little bit but overall, uh, the fitment is really good, and they look awesome. Way better looking than the stock intake. And fitment, I'd say install overall took us under an hour easily, and uh, well worth just just for looks, well worth it. Let's just fire this thing up and see how it sounds. What? Holy crap! guys 2020 Kia 
Stinger, cold air intake. I think Mike's very happy with his uh, new intake and the sounds and the looks of it. Well worth every penny. Uh, definitely a must-do mod uh, if, with your with your Kia Stinger. Um, I'm blown away by how awesome it sounds. Uh, so please like and subscribe. I'm putting out uh, different content all the time from small block Chevys to uh, I guess Kia Stingers now. So uh, next up we want to, uh, with this car, we want to get it to the drag strip, drag strip and see what we can uh, run. Mike's hoping uh, to get it into the low 13s. They run mid 13s typically, but uh, he's hoping to get into the uh, mid or low 13s. So um, look forward to that. But Thanks guys. Give us one more little. A little boop boop.